well hello everybody welcome back to my living room today we are going to be doing like a full-on spring home tour here in the Hoffman household uh, if you guys are not familiar with me my name is Kristen Hoffman and I'm a mom who loves thrifting homemaking and intentional living have you ever heard anybody say that you could only pick two right you can have the house look good you can have me look good, or you can have the kids fed, right? Let me just tell you today, my house looks good. I have been put together so you can guess which one has fallen to the wayside. Just kidding. But seriously, I really wish that I could say that this is just like a typical Tuesday in our house, but that would be a bold-faced lie. It took me so much time to get our whole house put together all at once. This only happens a few times a year and when it happens, I've gotta film it. So I told you guys that I was gonna be bringing in some fresh flowers for this video. So I just went to Trader Joe's a couple days ago, grabbed some of those. I tried to get some like really like typical like spring flowers, like things that are just up for a moment and then gone and just a couple of extra decorations that I had forgotten about a couple of like spring quilts just to bring a little bit more color in here and then I will take you through the entire house also people my word I posted our nursery reveal two weeks ago I'll link the video here and y'all had some opinions about that First of all, I don't think I've ever been more proud of a reveal, and I don't think that I've ever gotten nearly the amount of criticism that I've gotten for a reveal. So I might even discuss that <laughs> a little bit as well. Excuse me if it turns into a rant, I'm so sorry. But then I'll bring you guys through the rest of the house and I actually have a little moral story that goes along with it about seeking the approval of others and it actually ties in really well with our nursery and all of our spring decor. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and get started on today's tour. Okay guys, so I wanted to start out this video by saying a big thank you to our sponsor, which is Easy Plant. Y'all know that I am a huge fan of live plants in our house, but especially with like all of the sickness that we've been going through, I love how much plants help clean the air. It doesn't hurt that they also like help us connect with nature <laughs> and they add so much beauty to our space. So Easy Plant reached out and they actually sent us this guy right here. Okay, so I've actually never had one of these before. Okay, so this one is called a Schefflera Amate, a mate. Shufflera, a mate. <laughs> anyway, but they gave me this little pamphlet that lets me know how to water it, when to water it, where to place it in our home and everything. Easy Plant believes that everybody should be able to enjoy the joy of plants, whether they have a green thumb or not. And you guys know that although we have tons of live plants in our house, I am not always the greatest about remembering to water them. You know what? So many of them have learned how to survive with me and I'm so grateful for that. Okay, but here's the really cool thing about Easy Plant. Easy Plant was made for people like me, people who are forgetful. So they have this innovative self-watering system where you only water once a month when the reservoir is empty. So anybody can do it. Fill the reservoir. You do this once a month until it reaches the very top. Easy Plant is the result of two years of research, experimenting, and design. They set out to create the easiest plant to keep alive, making sure that the entire experience is simple, straightforward, and well, easy. They also sent us this little guy right here. This is called a snake plant, or my favorite, a mother-in-law tongue. <laughs> I'll show you guys a little example of their website right here. You can see that they have a variety of plants and pots, and they have discounted collections curated by interior designers. It's easy to choose the perfect plants from their website. Dang it, I'm already making a mess. But <laughs> they include tags like low light plants like these or ones that are pet friendly. This one actually, let me see. 
yeah every two months check the water reservoir so this one needs even less maintenance than the other one y'all this is why i'm not allowed to do two things at once <laughs> i can't talk and water a plant that's asking too much easy plant has got you covered they've got a 90-day guarantee and free online plant expert support in case you might run into any issues there's free shipping to your doorstep and really protective packaging to keep your plant like safe and thriving. Find your easy plant by using my link below where you can shop all plants. If you use my coupon code here, you can get 10% off and this is good for the next two weeks. Well, since these are all watered, let's go ahead and head into the kitchen where I have some more fresh flowers that we're gonna be kind of bringing in through the rest of the house. Okay, well, I told you all that I was trying to really stay true to the season with the flowers that I brought in. So you guys can see here that I have some sweet little pink hyacinth. I got some yellow tulips, as well as some, I think that these are called peony daisies. Tulips, peony tulips, <laughs> not daisies. And then I just brought in some of this really nice, this is that eucalyptus that I was hoping to get last time, but that that lady stole literally right as I was heading towards it. And so I felt really lucky to get it this time, but I figured I could use it as just kind of like a little bit of filler. So I have a few vessels here that I'm just gonna see what works and place these around the house. Y'all, I love the smell of hyacinths. It's probably my favorite smelling flower out there, so I could resist these. So here in a bit, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about just the disapproval that I had received online. But before I do that, I wanna talk a little bit about just living approved versus living for approval. There's a drastic difference between the readiness of living for God as one who was approved by him and the insecurity of attempting to live for God and earn approval. The only approval that you and I will ever earn is from one another and it will never last and it will never satisfy. I got these words from the She Works His Way book that I read this past year and it just reminded me, especially since this past week was like the Passion Week, at least in my real life timeline, and um, it just makes me think about how Jesus walked through the town of Jerusalem and everybody was shouting Hosanna with their palm leaves. And then literally four days later, they were completely rejecting him and crucifying him on the cross. Approval is not measured in likes, followers, or dollars. Approval is not a bigger platform or a better promotion. And most of all, approval is not something that you have to spend your life seeking. Approval is what Jesus did for you on the cross. The gospel is your approval. Jesus earned your approval. Jesus is alive, your approval is sealed, and one day he's coming back for the approved. Following him will not guarantee you the health, wealth, and happiness that the world pursues, but living for him results in peace, freedom, and fullness of joy. Trials are certain, but you will never go through them alone. It's so much better to live a challenging life than an empty one. The decision to live for Christ is the most important decision and the best decision you'll ever make. Paul wrote to all the churches, only let each person lead the life that the Lord has assigned to him and to which God has called him. This is my rule in all the churches. That's 1 Corinthians 7:17. 7, that one sentence speaks truth into comparison, complacency, and contentment. Wherever God has you is where God has called you to live as a believer. That's the inscription that gives you both purpose and authority no matter where you go. There is not a single kingdom effort that can happen without some simple task that the world would call meaningless, but nothing is small in the hands of a big God.
Okay, so before I get started on the whole walkthrough of our house, you know, we've landed in Ivy's room. <laughs> I told y'all that I was going to talk about the response to this room. I never thought that there would be so many disproving people on YouTube. But let me just take a few moments to put you guys' thoughts at rest, okay? I cannot believe the amount of comments that were just like very disappointed. Many of you guys thought that this room was not girly enough. Many of you guys thought that this room didn't have enough toys. Many of you guys thought that this room wasn't meant for children. So let me just give you a quick walkthrough of all of the reasons why this room is totally appropriate for a baby and a two almost three-year-old and it's gonna be okay all right let me show you first of all there's the green trim i get it green is not traditionally a girl's color and that's okay but do you have any idea how much work it would have been to have to not only paint this whole room but do all of the trim all of these detailed windows and listen mama is six seven months pregnant and i ain't gonna do it okay <laughs> just not gonna do it. I actually loved how it turned out. For those of you who were concerned as to whether or not this was girly enough, we've got pink, we've got flowers, we've got whimsical, magical scenery, okay, of like a fairy tale land. We've got toys. We've got more toys. We've got more toys. We've got more toys, okay? We've got lots of toys. Don't you worry. And if you were worried, we've got a whole toy room upstairs, which is where their toys are supposed to go. But you know what? <laughs> they bring them down here anyway. I've got a picture of a child, okay? Child children's room. It goes together, right? We've got more toys. <laughs> They're gonna be okay. They've got toys. I've got more flowers. I've got pink. I've got an entire pink bookshelf behind me. I've got animals, 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 animals. I've got more animals, all right? So we've got animals, we've got pink, we've got toys, we've got more toys, a thousand children's books. I just wanna put y'all's mind at rest. I know you're really concerned. <laughs> And I'm sorry, I'm just trying to joke about this just because I could not believe how many people reached out and were like, yeah, that's not working for me. <laughs> you guys were like telling me that there's way too much furniture in this room. Listen, this is an heirloom from my grandmother. This is another heirloom from my great grandmother on my other side. Lucky for me, they match each other. Okay, we've got a bed for the child, a crib, a changing table, in a bookcase that needs to hold not only the kids' books, but all of my books as well. We are just using what we have. This house was not built for us. We'd have to try to make our life build into this house, okay? And to wrap up this room, I want to tell you guys about this twall pattern, actually. So a kind subscriber slash commenter told me to look up the story behind the twall pattern that we are using on this curtain. And I actually think that the store behind it perfectly illustrates all of the criticism that I got over this room. I want you to take a quick look at this twall pattern. You see the old man and the child riding on the donkey and just all kinds of different people expressing their opinions. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on our home tour, but while we're on the home tour, I will read you guys the story behind this twall pattern. It's called the Miller, his son, and we'll just say the donkey because the actual word, I don't wanna get flagged for anything. So I will read that to you now. So this pattern was designed by John Baptiste Huet in 1806. It depicts the story of the Miller, his son, and the donkey. The story goes like this. One day, a long time ago, an old miller and his son were on their way to the market with a donkey which they had hoped to sell. They drove him very slowly for they thought that they would have a better chance to sell him if they kept him in good condition. As they walked along the highway, some travelers laughed loudly at them. What foolishness, cried one, to walk when they might as well ride? 
the most stupid of the three is not the one you would expect it to be. The miller did not like to be laughed at, so he told his son to climb up and ride. They had gone a little further along the road when three merchants passed by. What have we got here, they cried. Respect old age, young man. Get down and let the old man ride. Though the miller was not tired, he made the boy get down and climbed up himself to ride just to please the merchants. At the next turn, they overtook some women carrying market baskets loaded with vegetables and other things to sell. Look at the old fool, exclaimed one of them, perched on the donkey while that poor boy has to walk. The miller felt a bit vexed, but to be agreeable, he told the boy to climb up behind him. They had no sooner started out again than a loud shout went up from another company of people on the road. What a crime, cried one, to load up a poor dumb beast like that. They look more able to carry the poor creature than he is to carry them. They must be on their way to sell the poor thing's hide, said another. The miller and his son quickly scrambled down, and a short time later the marketplace was thrown into an uproar as the two came along carrying the donkeys slung from a pole. A great crowd of people ran to get a closer look at the strange sight. The donkey did not dislike being carried, but so many people came up to point at him and laugh and shout that he began to kick and bray. And then, just as they were crossing a bridge, the ropes that held him gave way and he tumbled down into the river. The poor miller now set out sadly for home. By trying to please everybody, he had pleased nobody and lost his donkey besides. So the moral of this story here is that if you try to please all, you please none. <laughs> and I just thought that was so funny and ironic when it came to decorating our daughter's bedroom, that even though it was a project that I was so proud of, and many of you guys gave like incredible compliments and like amazing comments below, so many of you guys had a lot of things to say about it. And you know what, I realized that no matter what I would have done, I could have decorated that entire room in, you know, hot pink and Anna and Elsa posters with 8,000 stuffed animals slung from hammocks on the ceiling. And no matter what I did, there's always going to be people who don't approve or don't like it or think that I'm gonna do the wrong thing. And honestly, I just have to do what I think is best for our family. Truthfully, when we got done with the bedroom, all three of our girls wanted to spend all of their time in there. I'm pretty sure the older two are jealous of this room. I just have to be content with that, that if my family is enjoying it, if my husband and I are enjoying it, if it serves our family in the way that we need it to, then it is serving its purpose and there's nothing to be ashamed of. I'm honestly really proud of that room and that project and our whole house for that matter. You know, we put a lot of time and effort into this and I love sharing it with you guys. And I love having an open comment section with lots of room for people's opinions. You guys, no matter what you say, whether it's positive or negative, I'm never gonna come back angry at you or anything like that. You know, you are more than welcome to have your own opinion. And honestly, any engagement just helps my channel anyway. And so thank you so much to everybody who has left comments in the past for people who are going to leave comments on this video as well. So I really appreciate you guys.
All right, everybody. Well, that wraps up today's home tour. Thank you guys so much for joining me on today's video. These take so much work. Honestly, these past three weeks have been crazy. What with the nursery makeover, the back porch makeover, and then getting our entire house ready for this spring home tour. And y'all, I am ready to take a nap. So I'm gonna go do that. I wish you guys all of the best. Thank you so much for being here and thank you for all of your encouraging comments. I know I got a little bit sassy earlier today, but forgive me. Just let y'all know, I am like a real person and I read you guys' comments and I just wanna say thank you to everybody who has been so supportive of our channel throughout all this time. So if you guys are not already, please consider subscribing and if you guys wanna share this video with a friend or if you were inspired by it, please let me know below. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye.